Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for September 1st through the 10th. This is for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically my readings are love readings. Um, we'll see whatever comes up. If you are in a happily ever after relationship, you shouldn't be watching this reading. You don't need a tarot reading based on love if you're in a happily ever after relationship. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. I think you guys had that last time after I said those same exact words. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. We're going to get three of these. And at the end, I'm doing something new where we're going to clarify with these cards. Okay? We're going to clarify these three cards. Ooh, chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Leo need to know? I've been having a really hard time with my rings, so bear with me. I might have to take them off. They've been sliding. I've been trying to change them around, put them on different fingers. Look at that. And it came out upright. So good luck, good fortune is on the way. Something good is happening. This is a change of course. So something has ended. This is a completion. Something has ended. There could be a new love, a new spark. Somebody has come into your life unexpectedly and it's not who you thought it was. Okay? This person is, when the lover's card comes up, it, and this could be the person that you're with if you're in a relationship and it's rocky, whatever. It could go either way. But this is an unexpected choice in love that comes in out of the blue. So it's not the one that you think it is, okay? It's not, okay? So it's after something ends. So yeah, these are both completion cards. Something in this one is too. Look at them. I mean, you have a new love that is coming into your life or has come into your life just very recently. I'm not talking three months ago or six months ago. I'm talking about now or in the very, very, very recent past, like last week. Okay? This isn't somebody that that is has been in your life for any amount of time. Okay? This is a new person. All right? So, because these are completions. These three are completions. So, something ends and you receive a new offer. That's what this is. Mm. Now, something may have ended with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay? I mean, we have two of them writing it back to back. And this is a Scorpio, so I'm not sure if you're dealing with a Scorpio. Or it could be a Pisces or a Cancer, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The here we have Aquarius. It's like there's no hope in that situation. There's no more um, wish fulfillment there. And that's why this situation, this relationship, this whatever it was, this, uh, well, this could be moving home, whatever. This is why this completed because there was like there was no more success there. You know, whoever you were dealing with was um, closed off emotionally. They, their heart wasn't open and they were selling you something that they didn't own. Okay, it's like, this is, this is this Knight of Cups reversed, this Prince Charming that comes in with all kinds of, well, exotic goods that he doesn't own. You know what I mean? He comes in and he offers you this, this, these diamonds that are what sir sir cubic zirconia whatever you know what i mean it's not true it's not true so it's it's whatever whoever you were dealing with let me just guess it's over it's done it's and it's the death it's the death of that situation i mean it's a death okay it's the death of an idea it's the death of this and this is death it's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. 
and you have somebody else. It's like destiny karma is saying, oh, you passed, you passed the test. You may feel lonely. You may feel like you're like you have a lot of doubts. You do. You do. You 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 probably feel like you're going through some sort of midlife crisis. Um. Oh God, there's fear of growing old alone. Maybe that's why you hang hung on to this player. Okay. I think that you were dealing with somebody that you know filled you up with a bunch of promises and ideas, and they were all cubic zirconia <laughs> anyway you know whatever it was it was fake it was fake okay so anyway um and you were dealing with an energy thief somebody that was only thinking about themselves they were not thinking about how it was going to affect you and i feel like the universe you know destiny is now going to bring somebody else into your life very very quickly very quickly so that's for those of you that have let something die I mean, something that was emotionally unfulfilling with the Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups, they, it wasn't love. Some of you are still hanging on, okay? For those of you that have let it die, there's a new opportunity, okay? You're going to have to make a decision. Or maybe you're making, or maybe you've made the decision to let this person go and to wait for your soulmate to allow a new this a new option to come in. You know, however it resonates. We're gonna get this zoomed in, and then we're gonna go get some more. Whatever's happening is happening quickly. Okay, it's like the universe is bringing you some sort of positive change very very quickly. So if you have these fears of growing old alone, you know, don't worry about it. Don't don't let your don't don't be loathing over it or anything like that with endings. I mean, you think if you were to look up the card for those of you that don't know tarot, don't know tarot, with endings bring new beginnings. Something ends and something new begins. For those of you that that let it end. Somebody from your past could be returning to your life. The memories of the past are significant here. Maybe whoever this person is. And when I say somebody from the past, we really need to clear this up because there's so many people that instantly think X. Instantly remove that thought from your head. Somebody from your past could be an acquaintance that you knew in school. Could be somebody that you've only had three words with in your life. This person is not your usual type. Okay, that's coming in. This person is not who you expect it to be. And it's probably somebody that you know. That's what I'm trying to say. It does lead to victory and success. But you're going to have to stand up for yourself. You are going to have to put yourself back on top. You're going to have to defend yourself in whatever situation this was that was a lie. You're going to have to find the mental strength to move forward to get your life back on track. You could meet this person traveling back home or traveling somewhere. Um, if you haven't met this person yet, this is... Now, I just noticed, sorry to go off track, but we have tra two transformation cards. So you guys are going through a... Tra and this, you might as well say this is one too... You guys are going through a, a huge change, a huge shift. You're going through a transformation where you are bringing more victory and success to your life. I mean, two victory and success cards with somebody you've known. And this is somebody you've known, I think, in this lifetime, okay? That's what I think. I think you've met this person a long, long time ago. And this is somebody who's not your usual type. It's not somebody that you have been dating recently. It's not. So to get that notion right out of your head. This is an awakening. This is receiving some sort of communication from somebody. Somebody may be communicating about, communicating with you. You guys are a 
You know, it's up to you whether you want to pass this test or not. It is. Either you see things clearly or you don't pass the test. The Knight of Coins is a test. It's a test. It's a test. It's reversed. Don't let worry and paranoia and regrets and guilt hold you back because it, you could be dealing with a manipulator. Okay, somebody that with these with the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups reversed underneath, it could be a water sign that uses emotional blackmail to to make you feel guilty. So just really keep that in mind. Poor, poor, poor me. You know, and that makes you feel guilty, and then you stay in a situation. And this is a test. It's a test of you know. Are you being practical? Are you being responsible? Are you stubbornly holding on to something that you don't, that doesn't serve you? It looks like you're sacrificing yourself for some reason, but you need to, you need to stand up for yourself. You need to stand on your own two feet. You need to get your life back. You need to find the strength. Perhaps you need to cut somebody out of your life. And it's this person that sold you the cubic zirconia, you know, labeled as diamonds. That's what you need to cut out. Because you have a new opportunity with somebody that is a perfect suitor for you. Perfect. But that's after you move forward. That's when you put yourself in the driver's seat and you stop hanging on to something that is unreal. I mean, she's the queen of reality. It's reverse. It's unreal. It's not real. You have a new opportunity being being offered to you from somebody else. You do. If you could stop focusing on the hurt that whoever this person is has caused you that perhaps you were used. Maybe you, this person used you for money, for a home, for a roof, for something. This person caused a lot of mental conflict for you. And you need to remove this obstacle. This is this is lies and removing obstacles. Endings bring new beginnings. This is making a conscious change to release the burden, release the baggage, release what doesn't serve you right now. But you guys are worried. And the biggest worry I see here is codependency. <laughs> it is. It is. Staying in a situation that is not compatible. When you have a better compatible situation, like looking at you, like right here. But this fear with the hermit reversed of growing old alone is so big that you would stay in a situation that is burdensome. And has obstacles. You're being presented with a new path, a new door. You have to make a decision. Do you stay where you're at or do you move forward? This is a time of decisions and choices, Leo. What are you going to do? Do you stay where it's safe right now? It's safe but discontent and there's a lot of hurtful words with these swords. There's a lot of emotional blackmail going on. Do you stay here or do you move forward towards the light to this new opportunity that is better suited for you? Choices, choices. It's your choice. It takes it's going to take mental strength. It's going to take courage. You're going to have to accept reality instead of ignoring reality. Because there's a new opportunity being offered to you if you could only see it. You're dealing with somebody who doesn't have integrity. Maybe it's you. This is, doesn't have moral backbone. This The page of coins in reverse is a person that has lost their focus, lost their concentration, and lacks the moral backbone to do the right thing because they don't have any plan of taking care of themselves. Is that you or is it the other person? Whatever it is, it's heavy, it's burdensome, and you have to release it. The time is now to free yourself. Another 10. You know how much completions we have here? Like, well, just about all of them. Okay. Completion, 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 completion. It's over, it's dead, it's done, it's gone. I have a better opportunity. You need to forgive. 
and release. That's what judgment is. You think about judgment day. When you get to judgment day, what happens? You go over your past. You release the past and you are forgiven and you forgive. This is about releasing the past karmic situation that you have been involved in. This is a card of karma. And there's the release. And going through that new door towards happiness and contentment. So there's an opportunity for a new commitment here with somebody that is not your usual type. It's not who you think it is. It's not who you think it is. It's not the person that I think you're with right now. Okay, I don't think that's the case. I don't. That's usually, when the lover's card comes up, especially upright in a reason, reading, it usually means that, you know, you have your eyes, your heart, your whatever set on somebody else. You think this person is the one. And then all of a sudden, this person looks in your eyes and they're the one. And now you got to make a decision to leave the circumstances that you're in that is a lie. Yeah. Not an easy task. It's time to accept reality with the moon reverse. There's been lies. There's been confusion. Somebody's been living an illusion. Fear of growing old alone is the catalyst that is keeping you stuck in the situation that you're in. You have an opportunity for love. But this is a card of decision and choices. It's an unexpected choice. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. You can stay where it's safe or you can take a risk, master your emotions, move forward, release, find happiness, and head through that new door. Endings bring new beginnings. And this is destiny. The change of course that is happening is destined to happen. Don't let illusion and confusion keep you in a situation that is a lie. We're going to clarify these. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring with this new connection. There's a new connection. You need to find the strength, Leo, the courage and the confidence to follow your heart, to make the choice that is going to bring you success, to free yourself from hanging on to something that is going nowhere, to free yourself from this stuck situation you're in. You need to find the strength to do so. Give your relationship a chance. That's a jumper. We're going to take it. Take action right now. Look, at it's right. This card is right here with this one. Give this new relationship that has just popped up recently, not three months ago or six months ago. This is recent, like last week, today, next week, whatever. Take action. Give it a chance. Give it a chance. Whoo! There's going to be passion. There's room for growth. It's going to be, there's the spark is going to be out of this world. Look at it. I mean, come on now. This is the connection you have been waiting for. Why would you deal with somebody that is full of shit? Chemistry. You have an This is a new sexual partner. Brand new sexual partner. Brand spanking new. Spanking new. Chemistry. It's time to see the light. It's time to come out of this darkness. 
there is chemistry here with this new person. There is. It's undeniable chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here that's undeniable. And it's a gamble. You're scared. I know you're scared. I can see that you're scared. But the difficulties that you've been going through are over. There's that moon again. Be careful. Be really, really, really careful because something's going on behind the scenes here. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Take a risk. Stand up for yourself. There's something hidden though. The moon is something hidden. The moon is secrets and lies. This is a, a fresh start. Moving very quickly. Communication. This is the rods of love. So I feel like there's an opportunity for a, a fresh start, a new beginning after you drop something that is fake. Yeah, there's one partnership that's not compatible. And I think that this is incompatible. This is incompatible. There's, there's like, <clears throat> this is naive, being naive. Be careful, be careful not to throw away this golden opportunity with this new partner because of somebody okay just be careful because I feel like because this is this is throwing away an opportunity I mean look at he's he's like throwing it away be careful don't throw away this chemistry that you have with this new person because you think that you're in love with the wrong person do not be naive son of a bitch complex decision. This is illusion. You have options and this is choices. You have a choice between two options. Do you stay where you're at with somebody that, you know, there's, it's like, it's not love. I mean, you have a new opportunity. Son of a gun. You're thinking about walking away. Oh God, it looks like you guys may throw away an opportunity for growth, passion, excitement, for somebody that is manipulating to you. The moon is lies, secrets. That's the emotional blackmail, whatever. Um, three of cups. You know, it's time to celebrate. It is. It's time to celebrate, so go for it. I would celebrate the new opportunity. Oh, God, this is a third-party situation as well. There's so much confusion with the moon card. There is, and I'm confused by it because if... You, you, ah, this is an incompatible partnership. This is not love. There's too many arguments. There's, there's lies with the moon card. This is a third party situation. But this could also be get out there and date. Maybe you meet this person when you're, you know, out having fun with the girls or you meet them on a dating site. I don't know. But this is naive. This is, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, moving on from that person. Oh, so, you know, I feel like you have another opportunity. Could be with a Gemini. But right now you're being robbed of this opportunity. You're being robbed, that's what this is, of this opportunity because you're dealing with a player, a third-party situation. And, 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 and when the lover's card comes out, you think that one person is the one, when in fact that person isn't the one, somebody else is. And that's exactly what this is. So, but you have this chemistry with somebody else, and so I think you're starting to think, this is starting to think about walking away from this 
Why? You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. So you have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You have Gemini. Um, you have Leo. You have Cancer. You have Pisces. You have Scorpio a few times. Pisces, you have Scorpio a couple times. Um, you have Scorpio quite a bit with the Judgment, the Death card, the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Scorpio is probably the most prominent here. Um, anyway, I feel as though there's an opportunity for new love that is very, 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 very well suited for you. But you may think the wrong one is the right one. Give this new opportunity a chance. That's all I can say. We're going to get you one of these. You got two. Gates of Triumph. I'm going to read that one first. The gates of triumph are waiting to open deep and wide for you. Where are those gates of triumph anyway? Oh, here they are. There they are. There they are. The gates of triumph are waiting to open deep and wide for you. Inner and outer success is coming your way. Thriving is a state of mind. Accept that you can reach any goal you desire. And even more victories will expand in your life. The more you feel it, the more love, prosperity, fame, and fortune will pour into your life. Traveling lightly. This is about letting go of something, if I, I believe. Simplify your life. Simplify your life. Release what doesn't support you. And that's where all these completions, the deaths come from. Release what doesn't support you. A busy life in the accumulation of more than you need creates static. Clear internal and external clutter. Do what matters and release the rest to find peace, grace, and stillness. Simplify your life. Otherwise, it's difficult to hear the voice of the Creator. Create time to rest and rejuvenate. On the journey, we often gather things that don't support us. It's time to say goodbye to fellow travelers, situations, and objects that don't bring out the best in you. Keep what works and let go of the rest. Do what is essential and releasing everything, everything else is one of the fastest ways to align with the tranquil vibration of the spiritual realm. Clear things from your schedule that do not advance your life forward. Even a small amount of this cleansing can make an immense difference. The more you get rid of that doesn't serve you, the better it's going to be. You have an unexpected choice in love after you release. Talk to you later.